Hi, this is Debbie from Don'tPerish.com. I have a question for our Christian sisters. Are you a Mary or a Martha? I was making dinner tonight and I was thinking about Luke 10 where Mary's sitting at the feet of Jesus and Martha is running around getting everything ready and she went to Jesus and asked why he wouldn't tell Mary to help her and he rebuked her. And I wonder about Christian sisters out there if they've done the same problem I have in the past. When I became a born again believer and I read that I'm supposed to be a keeper at home, I wanted to take my job seriously and I did. And I was on the internet looking up all kinds of recipes and homemaking things and homesteading and making everything from scratch, which is a wonderful thing. It really is. But you know what? In this internet age, and let me just say this, Pinterest can destroy a lot of your time, ladies. While we're traveling, right now we're out in Wyoming getting ready to do a job tomorrow. You can see the train and you can see this beautiful view that we have here. But anyway, while we're traveling, I use a lot of freeze-dried um, vegetables, freeze-dried meats. I use simple rices and pastas, real easy, real fast. We eat simple sandwiches. I try to keep everything as healthy as I can for what we're doing on the road. And my meals take me minutes to figure out what we're going to have and maybe five, not even ten minutes to prepare. That leaves me a lot more time to do things that are more important than standing by a stove and cooking. Now I'm not going to say that you can't prepare big meals and different kinds, but I guess I'm just warning Christian sisters out there not to get swept away in all that because there are more important things to do. If you can keep your meals simple, healthy, wholesome, inexpensive, and quick, you'll have more time to do many other things. And when I say more time to do many other things, what would that be, sisters? I hope you answered things of the Lord. What we have been instructed and commanded to do, and that would be learn His Word, be in His Word, pick up our cross, take care of our children, love our husband. The older women teach the younger women. There's many things that the Lord has given us, and we need to make sure we have the time to do those and not be swept away in preparation of things, too many details of homemaking and decorating and gift making and all this other stuff. Those are not sinful things, but we can turn them into sinful things if it's going to take up our time that God deserves. Yes, I speak from experience and I really hope this helps somebody else out there. Have a joyous evening. May God be praised.